It was just a normal weeknight, so he went to bed around about 7.30. She came running out of the bedroom and she had a pain in her head and she was asking me to fix it. They said there's a bleed in Zadie's brain that's a, a burst blood vessel. And at one stage, the noise changed in the machine. I just knew that was the moment she left us. Australia has one of the lowest rates of organ donation in the Western world. About nine days old, we noticed that Levi was puffing up in his eyes. That was the day our lives flipped upside down. I was two years old when I was diagnosed. I've only got one in five chance of living past 12 months. I'd be very happy if we got your vision good enough so that you can paint again. It's a waiting game and that can be quite frustrating. We know that. I feel like I'm at breaking point. I just think of all those organs that are being buried and cremated that could be used. It's such a waste. Things have got to change in Australia. Things can change. So what we're going to do today is hand out as many organ and tissue donor registration forms as we can. I thought it was on our licence, it's no longer relevant. Well, New South Wales took it off about five years ago and we took it off in Victoria about seven years ago. Hello, what are you speaking? It's your lucky day, Peter. Oh my God, are you serious? I feel like I can breathe really deep now. Oh my God, I am like being out of sick. I'm so happy for you. At the end of the day, everybody will die. You look at life quite differently. That's no, brother. I'm donating my kidney to my son today. She's given you life twice now, mate. What's only game in death was what we might not ever do when we're alive, and that is save someone else's life. We won't know what she was going to do when she was 18 or 25 or 30, but we know what she did as a seven and a half year old. <laughs>